For the past many decades, astronomers and researchers have been captivated by the idea of an interstellar human civilization, a society that can travel and communicate over great distances between stars in our seemingly infinite universe. Stay with us till the end as we tell you how the human civilization will look if we became an interstellar species. The Interstellar Idea In the beginning of scientific advancements, the universe was long thought to be empty and not ripe for human colonization. Scholars widely believed that humans and valuable things were only found on Earth. However, the 1900s saw a new wave of hope that galactic colonization may be possible. In the 1970s, Physicist Gerard O'Neill was contemplating humanity's far-off future in space and came to the conclusion that his fellow scientists were misinterpreting. He realized that while many people talked about colonizing distant planets, there wasn't actually all that much appropriate land in the solar system. He was of the belief that many rocky worlds and moons have gravity higher than Earth, making it impossible for humans to survive there and much of the planetary surface for habitation is enclosed in harsh, punishing atmospheres. Moreover, most of the discovered planets are really far, thus making back and forth travel highly fuel intensive. Instead, O'Neill gave the idea of vast floating cities with cylinder-shaped structures that were close to Earth. These places will be human-friendly, surrounded by lakes, fields and verdant forested villages giving it an Earth-themed look. O'Neill's ideas had a huge impact on a generation, particularly on a Princeton University student who attended O'Neill's seminars in the 1980s and paid close attention to his ideas. O'Neill's ideas made this student believe that establishing settlements outside of Earth would help to secure the long-term survival of humanity. Consequently, this student wanted to become a space entrepreneur. Any guesses who this student might be? Well, you might be surprised to know that this student is now one of the world's richest men and his name is Jeffrey Preston Bezos. The Great Filter Bezos started to portray his goals as a way to endless energy and resources that would be impractical if we remained on Earth. Since then, not much has changed as he still believes that establishing space communities is the only way to stop our species' insatiable appetite for resources and growth. If it were up to him, all heavily polluting industry would be relocated outside the planet and eventually spread out into O'Neill cylinders. Although he admits that he won't build that future, he sees himself as a road builder who will provide the groundwork for subsequent generations to do so. Another billionaire who is quite known for his risk-taking endeavors, Elon Musk, is more forthright about all of this and suggests that if we become multi-planetary and settle on Mars, the human species will be saved from extinction. The SpaceX's CEO is driven by the notion of overcoming the Great Filter, the theory that every civilization in the cosmos would eventually reach a turning point in their evolution that will wipe them out. Musk believes that we may be the first civilization in the cosmos to pass that filter point. He may well be right as in the past 20 years, we have made breathtaking discoveries in the universe. That is why the night sky is now much more fascinating and alluring to explorers than it was to our ancestors. The majority of stars, if not all, have been found by astronomers to be orbited by retinues of planets, just like the Sun. Interestingly enough, these planets cannot be directly observed, instead they make themselves known by having an impact on their parent star that can be measured precisely. As a result, NASA's Kepler probe tracked the brightness of 150,000 stars and was able to spot transits of planets no larger than Earth. How an interstellar civilization will look like Humans need to become an interstellar civilization as there will always be a chance for mass extinction of humanity as long as we live together on a single planet. It is comparable to keeping everyone in a single building because there is always a chance that that building may collapse or catch fire, killing everyone. That is why the probability of extinction of our species is considerably reduced if we first establish small outposts and then larger scale settlements on other planets. But in order to do that, we need significant advancements in transportation technology, especially in the area of traveling faster than light. Even if it's the stuff of science fiction for now, certain theoretical models make the case that it might be feasible to achieve speed of light in the future. If we assume that interstellar travel becomes a reality, an interstellar civilization would probably consist of a network of colonies and outposts dispersed across several star systems. These colonies would be connected by a system of trade and communication 
and would be self-sufficient in terms of food, water and energy. Furthermore, significant progress would be needed in a variety of fields, including energy production, resource management and manufacturing to support an intergalactic civilization. This energy would probably be generated by combining nuclear fusion with other cutting-edge technology. It goes without saying that all of these colonies will be ruled by a centralized authority in charge of overseeing operations, allocating resources and settling conflicts. Enjoying the video? Make sure to let us know in the comment section below about your views on humans being an interstellar species. Coming back to the video, an interstellar civilization would face severe difficulties in resource management. Various star systems would have significantly diverse resources, therefore new methods of resource extraction, transit and processing would be needed to manage these resources. Moreover, new techniques and materials would need to be created in order for manufacturing to function in the special conditions of space. Another important thing interstellar civilization will have will be its capacity to communicate over great distances. This is because sustaining a sense of togetherness among the various colonies would require coordinating activities, exchanging information and staying connected all the time. It is important to understand that becoming a multi-planetary species will not solve what are often accepted as our most urgent issues on Earth. As the two most pressing challenges of our times are social injustice and global warming, so, terraforming another planet will never be an effective strategy to manage ecological deterioration than investing in technologies or implementing legislation to prevent an ecological catastrophe on Earth. What lies ahead? It is no secret that Earth has a finite carrying capacity, yet our solar system has a much larger carrying capacity than any one planet. If we somehow achieve everything mentioned in this video and become an interstellar species, it would increase the diversity of human environments and foster the continued development of our species' creative potential, just as cultural and geographic diversity adds to the richness of our contemporary society. However, in order to achieve greatness, humanity will need to take risks. Man-made expeditions beyond the moon will have to be low-cost endeavors that accept enormous risks, possibly even one-way tickets, unless they are driven by pure prestige and funded by superpowers. Nonetheless, despite all the dangers, there would still be a large number of volunteers motivated by the same goals as the first explorers, mountaineers and other pioneers. Many private companies have already started orbital flights and many rich explorers are registering for a week-long tour with SpaceX around the far side of the moon, traveling farther from Earth than anybody has ever done. Many experts predict that humans will have bases on Mars and Moon and maybe even other habitable planets by the end of this century. That's it from today's video. We hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you did, show some love and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you will never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.